Does that Boone fart out rainbows? Or maybe it's 16-bit, or Tyler Lasdown from the Combat Cast, or maybe even Dominic Solo. Boy, is that a last name. What's going on, YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Asta Cheese Gaming. And I'm not done kicking the hornet's nest called MK1 just yet. Quick editing note. I'm playing Super Smash Bros. Melee for a couple reasons, one of which I'll get to in a little bit. But the first reason is Netherrealm Studios is pretty notorious for copyright claiming and copyright striking games. So I didn't want to have any issue with any kind of copyright claim. And also just because this is an absolutely fantastic game. And like I said, I'll get into the other reason here in a little bit. Anyway, the purpose of today's video. Like I said before, I'm not done kicking this game just yet. But the community is all kind of in an uproar finally, it seems like. Maybe people are finally waking up. And it's coming to people's attention that the community, or MK1 as a whole, is dying. And it's like, you gotta sit here and wonder, why is that? Well, for starters, you released a game... Mortal Kombat 1, which let's actually look at the sales here for a second. As of 2023, the game launched in September, September 17th, if I believe to be precise. It had 3,000, three, excuse me, not 3,000, 3 million copies sold as of the end of 2023. What it's at now, it might be close to 4 million, hard to say, I don't know, but if you figure re if you figure resales and everything else, it's probably there. But just actually raw sales, oh my god, we need to dodge this bomb. Like I said, actual you know, sales sales from the WB earnings call, they said 3 million. So, overall, you could pretty well say the game was a, you know, commercial success. But for a game that's a commercial success, why the heck is the player base leaving it so quick? Well, for one, you have a game that... Oh my god, I'm about to get nailed by that thing. Okay. For one, you have a game that's having just absolutely horrible desync issues in its online multiplayer. When people are trying to play online, they're desyncing like crazy. We have, for all intents and purposes, Radio Silence out of NetherRealm Studios. I mean, they were bad during MK11, but they're just even worse now. I mean, it's blatantly proven that this studio does not give a damn about us. They really don't. If they did, they'd do Q&As or other things. They would talk to us. But they don't. They don't talk to us. They don't have random Q&A sessions. They don't listen to their fans. They might catch a random video or every here and again. They're not. They're just following orders. They got their orders from WB, and that's what they're doing. They're following their orders from above. They got their raw sales. They got your credit card if you went out and actually bought this dumpster fire of a game. And guess what? That's all they wanted. They wanted your credit card. They wanted you to pre-order the game so they could run out over to WB... Warner Media Games and all of its affiliates and conglomerates and you know other companies who own the mutual fundings for those companies to which I shall not say here lest I get you know some kind of copyright issues or truly upset the YouTube algorithm. Come here, Peach. I won't throw you off the map. Let's see if we can't take care of Peach here. Bye. And she's out of here. So like I said, conglomerates and everything else. They wanted your credit card and they got your credit card. And they sold roughly 3 million copies as of the 2023 end of the year earnings call, the Warner Games. But that still doesn't explain why now, fast forward a little bit, why is the game dying? Well, like I said, whole bunch of issues that I've gone over in previous videos, but just to kind of sum, of, uh, sum them up, lack of content. And you know what? Let's compare a game to like this one that I'm playing now real quick when it comes to content. So you just saw that. I have all these other variations that I can make on the versus mode. Now let's go into the single player, which MK1 is severely lacking. We have classic mode. Oh, and by the way, with this game, I never had to worry about DLC or anything else. Look, 
Here's my roster. Great roster. Whole host of characters. Want some heavy characters? Got him. Nice, well-balanced? Got him. Great anti-air and aerials? Speedster? Got him. Light puffball that can just seem to dance around in the air? You got it. Like I said, heavies, brawlers, can all here. All here. You want to play you know, range and at a distance? You could play that too. We'll get into a little bit more of the adventure mode. And look, I get it. This is a GameCube game. That's a brand new game. I get it. But I'm just trying to use this as a little kind of a you know, reference and a point. For like I said, this game is just totally just flush with story and stuff to do and replayability and all this other areas that you could play. That was adventure mode. And then we have gauntlet mode, which is all-star. So just replayability up the wazoo. What do you have with MK1? Broken Combat League, which is prone to desyncing issues. Awful servers with horrible bad ping. You have Invasions, which no one cares about. I mean, like, is anyone even excited for it? And then what will sometimes happen is with the new DLC cameo that came out, NRS is like, oh, hey, look, go play the game. Oh, look, new Invasion is out. Like, do we really, truly care? And speaking of, I just want to touch on one other thing here. This was a tweet, I guess you could say, from another YouTuber, so shout out to them that I was watching. And it was a poll on Twitter, or X, because I don't use it. But it says, this is from Ed Boom. We're working on additional online features for Mortal Kombat 1. Can't announce any dates. Which feature would you like to see the most first? Crossplay, which isn't in the game, but should have been. Ranked play switch from two to three matches, still not there. A ping filter, not in the game. And a Wi-Fi filter, like, are you kidding, Ed Boon? Like, y'all had friggin' four years to complete the game, and you still can't do it? Like, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Like, what the hell were y'all doing for four years? Sitting with your thumb up your... <clears throat> like, really? What the heck you been doing? Now let's take the most recent Smash Brothers and talk about that for a second. Over... Because I also want to get about the fact of the competitive scene, which I'll touch on in a minute. Over in Japan, for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, they have weekly tournaments that you can join. Here in the States, Mortal Kombat 1 doesn't have that. I can't say if Street Fighter 6 or if Tekken 8 will have it, but I know that Smash Ultimate does. If you go over to Japan and you want to participate in a tournament, Donkey Punch for the win. You want to participate in a Smash Ultimate a tournament? You can. Heck, even this game still randomly every now and again at certain uh, tournament venues does actually appear. It's a small grouping, but there's still a very, very hardcore grouping of people that still play this one to this day. If you want to see some of those tournament results or watch some of those tournaments for yourself, you can watch them at VG Bootcamp on YouTube. Go check that channel out. A whole bunch of tournaments that they post. I've seen a whole bunch of uh, Smash Melee tournaments that they've hosted. So you can watch that. So like I said, lack of inv you know invasions, broken online game. I mean, what about for the people who don't want to sit there and just be a bunch of tryhards online? What's for, their, for them to play? I Honestly, I don't know. I mean, the game is just an absolute mess. It got rushed out the door. Honestly, if four years wasn't enough time, well, then I guess they should have taken five years because clearly they need it. And you know what? I put the fault on 16-bit and Dominic C and Solo and all these others who are too busy shoving an agenda and their rainbow politics. Like I said, do they fart out rainbows whenever they go? I seriously, I wonder these questions sometimes. Because they're so worried about their own politics or tweeting about you know, what's going on with a football game or this, that, and the other thing. Then worrying about just making a freaking great game. I got an excellent idea. Why don't you just make an awesome Mortal Kombat game? Is that so hard? Like, Mortal Kombat used to be the game that would freaking buck the trend and all this other stuff. They don't do that now. They don't care. They want your wallet. Once you buy the game, they got your wallet. They appeal to the casual audience. And after that, they're gone. See ya. Leave a call for next year. Don't care. Don't care about us as fans. David Zaslov himself has said, only Gen Z matters. Anybody else? Sorry. 
If you're younger than Gen Z, we don't care. We're only after Gen Z. We only want their wallets and their credit cards. Anybody else, doesn't matter. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna shove whatever agenda that the powers that be want us to shove, whoever they might be. Might be Warner Media Games, or it's conglomerates or affiliates. I'll leave that up for you to decide. Or I don't know, maybe the fault really is truly with 16-bit and all of the stuff that he wants to shove. And all of his, you know, I'm trans, I'm this, I'm that, rainbow agenda. Like, okay, dude, I get it. And again, as I've said in so many videos, you know, whoever you lay in bed with at night, that's your business. I really don't care. You want to be a man and you want to date another man? Congratulations, I'm happy for you. Kudos to you, best of luck. You want to be a, be a lady and date another lady? Kudos to you. Best of luck. I hope you you, you and your, your wife or whatever you want to call it, I wish you all the best. I honestly do. But it shouldn't be a political weapon that gets you know, beaten over the head by us. Excuse me, I said that wrong. It should be a political weapon to which... Oh my God, I just shot the wrong way. To which they choose to beat us over the head with. It honestly shouldn't. And it's just sad how far the mighty have fallen. Oh, wow, I just took third place. That's kind of sad. <laughs> I was so busy talking, I really wasn't paying attention. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's we'll switch characters. That happens sometimes. You win some, you lose some. Let's set them all to level five. Ah, you know what? Let's get a rematch in here. Maybe I need to pay a little more attention. Like I said before, shouldn't be a political weapon that we get beaten over the head with. And again, I will continue to re to repeat and reiterate, you know, who you lay in bed with at night is your own business. I really don't care. Look, 16-bit, you want to be a, you know, you want to date other men? Cool, cool, fine. Good for you. But please, please, please get it out of the friggin' Mortal Kombat. I don't care. I don't want it in the game. I don't want to hear about it when I'm sitting there playing Mortal Kombat. You know, I'm sitting there trying to relax and play Give Vrame in a franchise, which I've loved all my life and have been playing since the original arcades. And that's really why I make these videos. That's why I'm passionate about this. That's why I'm talking about this. Because I've been passionate and, you know, I've been a fan since, you know, the original heyday arcades of these games. Seeing, you know, Scorpion and Sub-Zero and Shang Tsung and all those others in the original arcade. Battling Shao Kahn and how blown away I was when I first saw, you know, all those secrets and wondering everything that was out there that was in these arcades and trying so hard. And, you know, begging my parents for quarters. And then I remember how happy I was on Christmas to sit there and get Mortal Kombat 1 for the Super Nintendo. And yeah, it was, it was the censored version, but you know what? I didn't care. I was happy with it. I enjoyed it all the same. I had a lot of fun with it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Played the hell of it on my Christmas break. Probably drove my parents crazy how much I played it, but that's all right. I just, I thoroughly enjoyed the game. Been a lifelong fan of it. And to see how far this franchise and series has fallen into what they're choosing to do and push now and all the stuff that they're doing, it's just, it's just truly sad. And I'm, Hoping that you know what this game just I truly hope that this game does die because at this juncture it needs to It need we need to boycott enter us. We need to tell them enough of the agenda enough of the politics in the game But the sad part is from at least a commercial casual people, you know normies I guess to borrow a line from the fandom menace youtubers out there You know from the normie standpoint this the game's a success they got everyone's credit card. They won. And they can run to WB and say, hey, look, see how great we did. What the heck? Where's my... How do I pick up the Warp Star and then just nothing? That was weird. That was truly weird. Really weird. But what can we do about it? Well, like I said, call it out. Don't hand over your money. Tell them no to the microtransactions. Stay on them. Say that they need to fix this game. Pray for better communication from the studios. If we ever choose to get that. Oh my goodness. Oh, you got me. I misread that. Come here, Pikachu. I want to throw you off the map. Oh, okay, I guess that works. And he's, come on, jump, jump. 
Oh, I missed him. Ah. And triple jump. Oh, wow, nice counter. Sorry, I'm trying to really focus in here and B Pikachu is giving me some trouble. Goodbye, he gone. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. If you've missed any previous ones, make sure to check out my previous series. Oh, but real quick before we end this one. The reason for why I'm choosing playing this game, well, first off, because like I said before, just an absolutely fantastic game. But also, just because I just wanted kind of to show just all the stuff that you have in this game. But then you go to play a game like MK1, and it's just, it's a lack of content. My little trophy collection here, so hope you enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know what you think. Till next time, everybody.